In this interesting question, we have a circle of radius 6 cm. We have got two quadrants whose radius is not known. The radius of these quadrants, they are in a straight line. And the vertex, these three vertex of the quadrants, they are lying on the circumference of the circle. Now the exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find the total area of these two quadrants. Let's check the solution. We'll solve it by two ways. The first approach, it will be formal approach. And the second approach will be logical approach where we'll solve it in 30 seconds. Let's check the first approach. So let's assume that the radius of bigger quadrant is R centimeter and thus the length CB that will also be R. And for smaller quadrant, let's assume the radius is X centimeter. Now the total shaded region that can be given by this formula here and here pi by 4 will come out common. So shaded region will be pi by 4 times of R square plus X square. So to get our answer, we need value of R square plus X square. Now here the trick is if we will see across this uh, line joining O and B. So across this line the figure is symmetrical and thus FB length that will be same as EB or radius X centimeter. Now here let's join CF and if we look at this triangle CFB now here angle B is angle by a quadrant so which is 90 degree and this triangle CFB applying Pythagoras theorem we have got base as X and height as capital R so X square plus R square that is FC square so this value here this value we can replace in this equation so we'll get shaded area as pi by 4 times of FC square so basically now we have to find FC square now here let's join the length AC here. So here if we'll see then the CB length and AB length both are capital R and thus it's an isosceles right angle triangle. ABC is an isosceles right angle triangle. So this angle here that's nothing but 45 degrees. And now with respect to circle if you have a look then CF is a chord and this chord is substanding an angle of 45 degree at the circumference and thus this chord will substand an angle of 90 degree at the center and if you look at this triangle COF now in this triangle CO is radius and OF is also radius so both are 6 cm applying Pythagoras theorem we'll get 6 square plus 6 square is CF square so here we are getting this value of FC square. FC square is nothing but 72. Putting this value in the shaded area formula, we'll get shaded area as this. Solving it, so we'll get shaded area as 18 pi centimeter square. And that's our answer. Now let's have a look at the logical approach. So there is no information given related to the radius of these two quadrants. So that means the question is saying that whatever the size of the quadrant you are drawing as long as it's fulfilling the condition that point A, C and E they are lying on the circumference the shaded area will remain same and if that's not the case then the question will become invalid. So let's increase the size of this bigger quadrant further and decrease the size of this smaller quadrant and let's get a new shape here. Now here in this new shape, it's fulfilling all the original conditions of the question and thus the total shaded region that should still remain the same. How about if we'll increase this bigger quadrant slightly more such that this smaller quadrant, it becomes a point quadrant. Now it may sound absurd, but this question is still fulfilling the original data of the question. And here only thing is that very small quadrant which is there is a point quadrant and not visible and that smaller quadrant area is practically becoming zero here and total shaded area will be area of this bigger quadrant plus zero. And for this area of bigger quadrant we know this angle 
formed here is of 90 degree and only the diameter subtends the angle of 90 degree so let's join AOC which is representing the diameter here and the length AO and OC that will be 6 cm and uh, applying Pythagoras theorem in this triangle that's ABC so we'll get R square plus R square is 12 square solving it will get value of R square as 72 now area of this shaded region is what is area of quadrant and area of quadrant is pi by 4 r square putting value of r square here as 72 and solving it to get area of shaded region as 18 pi centimeter square and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye